Legend of Total War here with part 34 of my Mount and Blade Warband Anno Domino 1257 Let's Play campaign as Legend of the Conqueror. Uh, previously, uh, the Teutonic Order have come back. They've taken taken Magdeburg, whilst I was taking my Maiben or whatever it's called. Uh, there's only one settlement left of the Holy Roman Empire. They can't really call themselves Roman or Roman Empire at this stage, or Holy. Um, however, I'd like to retake Magdeburg before the garrison gets buffed up there. However, we need to sort of wait for the Teutonic Order to leave the area. See, there's, there's guys around here. Because they only have a small garrison, and the, the garrison will be easy to deal with anyway. Okay, look, if that's all they've got, let's defeat that. drag him into this, I got no problem. If we can capture them, then that's great. I do not wish to make peace with them right now. Uh, 456 versus their 318. We'll have to charge on the first instance. Maybe two fights and then an auto resolve. It's always fucking night and raining. Bloody Europe. I did switch this horse out, right? As in, this isn't a slow horse, is it? Not lamed. Not riding very fast, but again going uphill. No, I don't think this is lamed. A lot of cavalry, but that's fine. We'll just dismount them. Come on, motherfuckers, come chase me. Watch out, make sure I don't run in, into a tr any trees. Sit. Fucking. Oh, shit. Stay clear of those damn trees. like their leader. Looks like he used to be English. Whatever, I don't care. It's in constantly too much damage. Yeah, of Canterbury, yeah, he used to be English. Cavalry units over here. I think these are more of their leaders. Try to get rid of their horses before they cause too much damage. Time to charge. Crap, horse is nearly dead. Yeah, we got this. Two tons. We need to make sure our, our uh, force is as strong as possible so that we can uh, take on Magdeburg straight away without needing a rest. And then we move on to Praha. Oh shit. Let's get clear of their fucking spears. Oh, whatever. 
My cavalry should be able to handle them. to live through that. Oh, there we go. At least I've got lots of health. Might as well get another horse. That that sword is not good for taking on cavalry. to be... No, there's still a few more. Not much, though. Didn't lose very many men. It's good to see. Uh, looks like these guys are on the flank there. They're cavalry, so I'm going to have to probably shoot them. There they are. What the hell are they doing? They're just sort of avoiding conflict. But they look like heavy cavalry, which is weird that they'd be trying to avoid conflict. Either retreat or fight, motherfuckers. My guy's in the way. He's over here. Okay, good. So there's 134 of them dead. Oh, 411 to 183. I'm just going to auto-resolve the rest of it. Just because it just takes too long. Okay, so we've captured two of them. Now we do actually ransom these guys off. So I can make a bit of money off this little fight that we had there. And I'm back to full strength, that's great. But I'm not going to go take them back to Verona right now, because they're not high priority prisoners. I'm going to take them, um, I'm going to take, uh, Magdeburg first. Oh, fucking hell, these, these rebels show up. Right here. I hope they don't bother us. Because they're annoying to, like, I could bloody kill 400 by myself, but they're just annoying. Shit, don't want to, don't want to disguise myself and try to sneak in. It hasn't... Hasn't quite recognized that it's not under siege yet. So I just need to wait for that to go away. Come on, hurry up. 
can't siege it until it's not under siege. God, Podesta de Griffey has always been defeated. He's such a loser. How the fuck are we supposed to get in here if we don't... Don't get in there. Fucking buggy piece of shit. Hey, what happened? Did I just lose one of the guys? Someone escaped. That doesn't matter. This is really annoying. It's been like this for more than a day now. Oh, for fuck's sake, you piece of shit fucking cunt. Yeah, oh wow, jeez. I'll accept that. I'll have to go back to Nuremberg, I think. Go pick up some, uh... Pick up some more soldiers or whatever. Or hookers. Fucking morale problems annoying. And now it's no longer under siege. Great. I can sit there for a day. The game's just fucking with me right now. So I don't want these these heavy horses anymore. I don't think I need them. Okay, there's local mercenaries, but I don't have enough um, capacity in my army. Alright, so we go back there now. Hopefully it hasn't actually increased in size. The garrison, that is. Lord Sabantis was taken prisoner by the Holy Roman Empire. Well, he's bound to be in that settlement. Time to take Magdeburg back. We've actually made quite a lot of profit from this war with them. I mean, that's, that was nearly 30,000 just from that one guy. And he wasn't much of a fighter. Must have been their faction leader. Come on, I just bought your hookers, you fucking bitch. You know what, we're just about ready to finish off the Holy Roman Empire, so I'm going to accept the offer. We'll start allowing the ransom. Because afterwards, I'm just going to be releasing them anyway. As in, once the Holy Roman Empire is destroyed, there's no point keeping them in prison after that point. Alright, so this shouldn't take long. Battle advantage, 19. We're going to take most of the damage from the boiling oil. There's always guys up there, so I'll go and sort that out. Hopefully after this we go straight for Praha, lay siege, take it, end of the Holy Roman Empire. And hopefully the uh, the Teutonic Order asks for peace. Because I've got no interest in fighting them. They're too far away to, to make any real profit out of. Man, we got a lot of soldiers here. Let me through Being fucking idiots as usual. Just 
try and thin them out so that my guys don't take too many casualties. This is going to be a hard shot to make. But I made it. I got reinforcements coming or, or what? No, I don't think... I think this is all they get. Once this is down, that's it. Probably should have auto-resolved this. I wonder if there's still time for me to get up there and speed this up because it's taking too long. I'm sick of having to constantly retake this settlement. But it's such a bitch to defend. What the fuck? There's nothing here. I think they're bashing down that other door. This is done. Oh, come on, hurry up. It's one guy left. How, how long could it take for you guys to kill him? Hang on. I think he's up here. Alright. Well, he's dead now. Good. See a lot of those guys that we had captive run away. Good, everyone's still got all their villages and stuff like that. Okay, so recruit volunteers. No, there's local mercies, but I didn't lose any men. So manage the garrison, trade prisoners. I'm just going to leave the guy here. And I'll hire them as well. Got to visit the tavern. Just gonna keep hiring hookers. Yep, some extra variety of food would be useful. Extra bit of morale there. It's not heaps. It's not going to last very long either. But whatever. If I can stop them from deserting for a day, well, that's worth it. Okay, so we've still got 40 men there. I don't really care if these, these guys desert. We're heading straight down to finish off the, um, the Holy Roman Empire now. I don't think the Teutonic Order is going to bother coming here again. Uh, during this war, at least. Because they lost four of their armies. One of them was in capture, and they had to ransom off their faction leader. It's already cost them a huge amount of money. But I, I suspect that they just got unlimited anyway. Also, we've got Richard von Convoil, um in prison. So without him, these guys are kind of leaderless. So if we can... All right, we, we'll have about... About 500 men, I think, to take out this settlement. If he shows up, they'll have even more. They piss off. Uh... Okay, I probably shouldn't be doing this, but... Okay, i got a major concern now. If we lead the attack, well, okay, and we fail, those guys could catch us, but then again, whatever. Okay, so we've got an advantage. We must have more than 500 men. But still, a battle advantage of two when assaulting with a siege tower on a battle like this could go poorly. We'll see. It doesn't matter if it does fail, I'll just go recover some troops and be right back. I wonder if that lord of mine that got captured is actually here.
sure these guys from a distance can be a bit of a pain, but whatever. I think we've got a good kill ratio at the moment. We've killed more of them than they have of us, but they're going to get a lot of kills once we start uh, coming up the siege tower. That is unless we get rid of pretty much all these archers. Because these are the guys that are going to get all the kills. Okay, much easier targets over here. He's shooting at me. This guy. Alright, let's see if I can sneak in. Oh, I should be able to. There's the flanks uh, not covered there. Good. Now let's go tear up all their archers. looking good at the moment. Good, that's cleared off. Pretty much the last of their archers now, as soon as I get rid of these guys. The last of their archers that we're going to cause their concern. Alright, good. An excellent kill ratio as well. At this rate, we're going to win. We have to get around the back of them, get rid of the other archers. Of course, I could stay down here and shoot them. I'd rather get rid of those archers up on the wall there. Anyway, my guys seem to be doing a fantastic job there. Just adjust the volume again. It always seems too loud. Let me throw a javelins at me, bitch. If I'm not careful. I said I'd like to stand here in the flank, it's what I call the sweet spot, and kill them without them even being concerned about me. Good, slaughtering them. <laughs> Looks like the last of the Holy Roman Empire was not their best. Right, so how are we going anyway? That's half of them dead. We still got plenty of reserves. I don't even think I've needed for the rest of this. Of course, I still just keep killing. Good for experience. But if I get knocked out right now, my guys will be able to finish it off without me. Well, 
coming. Yep. Already 300 dead. So much for the Holy Roman Empire. What do you think you're doing, bitch? I don't have enough uh, reach to really be hitting these guys. It just doesn't do enough damage. Let's see if I can pick up my old weapon. If it's still hanging around over here. There it is. This is nowhere near as fast at it as I am, but whatever. Feels good to do some bit more carnage. Oh, well, I'm not gonna get it back from there. This is not a good place to, to be. They keep knocking me over. I don't even know who I am. There, got knocked out again. Yep. Oh, let's do what I can. This is the last person in the Holy Roman Empire. Well, they'll still have armies around, but whatever. They'll eventually just, without any thieves, they'll eventually have to go somewhere else. Good, get myself some more soldiers. Now, how come this keeps going down now? Gotta find more field battles, do I? Well, whatever. You don't seem to ever get any real renown from these these kind of battles. Okay, defer the appointment. Okay, let's go to visit the tavern. Once again, go visit the hookers. Make sure my guys are well under control.
And that's pretty much the end of the Holy Roman Empire. They're not they're not dead yet, but I don't know what they're gonna do now. Probably just auto resolve this. Yeah, it'd be fine. Now the thing is, I could fr let him go. It'll earn me a lot of um, extra honor. Because I, I really don't think anyone's going to ransom him off. So I might as well just let him go. And I'm at the stage where it's, it, it's time to let the Lancers go home. Because we've won the war. We've completely annexed the Holy Roman Empire. What we're going to need to do now is try and gain a bit more money back at home, save up a bit more cash, and then the next person to fuck with this, go and take them down. I would really like to go and conquer France, but they're they're much stronger than what the, the Holy Roman Empire was. But then again, I'm a lot stronger now as well. The mere thought of having to start from scratch, capturing all their generals and just putting them in prison. Also, yeah, I've also got to work on my honor. That's okay, it doesn't cost that much. What, 100,000 for 100 honor? I did. I, I think during this whole war I rejected, what, 15 things in total. Plus, I had already got my honor up uh, a decent amount beforehand. Okay, yeah, so there's just raiding parties out there now. That's basically it. So what we're doing now, just just stop them from raiding. Catch them, kill them, let them go if you capture them, and eventually they'll just they'll start uh, moving off to other countries. I'm not gonna be able to catch them at this rate. I've also got to repair relations with the, the other lords. I really need to make sure none of them have a negative opinion of me, or else when I call a campaign they just don't show up. Yeah, accept the offer. Let them, let them get out. Where are they? Good. Might as well make a bit of money out of them, because they've got nowhere to go now. They're all just going to start disappearing. That reminds me. It's time to tell them the campaign's off. I think all of my captives ran away. I don't even care. Could have made a bit of money off them though. So they're actually offering me peace. I ex oh man, that means Richard von Kronvoll or whatever will get away. Um, hmm. That means all of those guys that are in prison will get away. Um, I'm just thinking. I mean, the Holy Roman Empire is going to fall apart regardless. But if I go and release them personally, then I'll get honor. It's not really a big deal. And this, this basically puts an end to the war. Removed from the treasury. That's okay. Now, for the first time in quite some time, I think, we're not at war with anyone. So it's now time to disband all the land's forces and go back to Italy and start consolidating. Uh, what am I doing? Uh, I need to go back to Italy, I guess, to disband the land's forces. Because I don't need to pay for their, their upkeep. So I think I can do that from camping. But anyway, let's just get back to Italy first, where it's, at least it's safe there. I also need to start working on that marriage. A new one, because this one's just not working for me. So I'll need to pick a lord 
from another nation, preferably one that already likes me and has got an available daughter. I just start working something out with them. Because I've got a lot of right to rule, it should... Shouldn't be too hard to get a marriage proposal and just get this done very quickly. Also, now that we're here, like I said, we got to get money. So what we'll do, we got to start selling off all the goods that are in here. And also getting all that wine and shit, the wine and ale, getting all that to all the, uh, all the lo- Oh, fuck, what the hell have I got this for? I must have accidentally bought it. Okay, what I want to do is, I don't know if I've actually invested in a manor at Rome, but I need to do so. Hang on, is there anyone left here at Verona? Tom, who's Tommaso di Aquino? I'm going to release him. Oh, hang on, I need to do that from actually my court. Wait, no, I don't. You can do that from here, right? Because we're not at war with anyone. I should probably check that. So, Holy Roman Empire occupies nowhere. It'll eventually fall apart. Alright. Has recently suffered provocation by subjects of Regnum Sicilia. There is risk of war. Okay, now if I was to declare war on them, um, my guys would like me for it. But if I don't do it, they'll get pissed. Sicily's not strong. We could pretty easily beat them, but I, I need a time of peace to consolidate. So I'm going to release that prisoner that's in there because he's not doing anything for me. To release a prisoner, yep. Ah, so we belong to the, the papacy. Let him go. It's of no use to me. Okay, and I'll take all these because I want to sell them all. Gotta start making money now. Start financing the next war. I mean, we've still got plenty of money, but... War just makes all these regions so poor for such a long period of time. Also, have I spoken to you? Oh yeah, whatever. It doesn't take long to do that shit. Hang on, shit. I should sell off my goods first. Yeah, I'm gonna sell it to the armor merchant. He's got all my money. Ah, uh, it also reminds me. So if I go to... Where is it? Recruit... I can't recruit anything. Why is that? Whatever, I'll just go to Italy to do it. Uh, it Italy, Rome. We're already in Italy. Well, I'm here to pick up some more goods. I'd go check out the... Um, the scriptorium, but it's not time. He's not going to be there. So it looks like the rest of the episode at this point might be a little bit dull. Just wondering if we should end it early and then just allow me to, I don't know, fix up all the boring stuff and then get ready for the next war, which hopefully goes 
uh, better than the previous wars that we fought, apart from the Holy Roman Empire, because we're in a position now where we we can be we can start to be ruthless. Well, I can't sell them anymore. So yeah, it's pretty much time to call off this wedding because it's just not going anywhere. I just need to send lots and lots of gifts to all of my, um, to all the remaining lords. Well, I didn't lose any. Um, just to make them like me again. Especially Podesta de Griffey, because he's an idiot. He's always bloody losing battles. Okay, so what are we doing here? If I go to... Why can't I recruit anything? Broker's got too many men, so how do I... I haven't done it from the camp menu, so we've got to camp. Disband lands forces. Okay, that'll save me a little bit of money, I'm assuming. Most of my forces were lands forces, so that... Yeah, that'll save me quite a lot. And also allow me to travel a little bit faster. And we have a... Okay, there's definitely a... Uh, what's it called around here? A manor. I just don't know where it is. Oh, don't have anything. So I've built the prison tower here. Alright, what am I doing? Okay, see if there's any new lords. Oh, fuck me sideways. There's a lot of people here. Problem is though, um, it's going to make uh, Podesta de Griffey really pissed off. Okay, uh, this is going to be a bit of a bit of a, uh, I don't know management sort of bullshit thing where I just need to manage this and sort of just slowly hire all these guys while managing what the reputation of of everything. So I might end the video here. Now, let me just see. What's the date now? It might be a couple of months before the next episode. It depends on if anyone declares war on me. But yeah, I'll just be dealing with this situation, consolidating, giving away territory to, to lo local uh, lords, and making them all like me, which will probably take some time. But anyway, that's the end of this episode, so like and subscribe. Part 35 is next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.